I thought we were going to get to posture in the last video, and I'm trying to keep these around three minutes long so that you can watch them in small bits and then apply them to the music you're practicing. And again, keep your practicing on things you want. There should be instructions in Schoology that should help you with knowing what to practice and how to structure your practices. And maybe later on, depending on how many of these I do, we'll talk about that. But I want to take a moment and talk about your posture. And that's something I think I should have spent more time doing with during classes. And maybe in the future I will. But when I practice my trombone, which I have right here, I practice it and I'm standing up normally. If I'm playing trombone and for myself practicing on my own, I'm going to make sure that I'm standing because that's where I'm most, um, not even most comfortable, but I know I can take care of my posture and I have to think about the least. But for a lot of years, it wasn't that way. And I leaned to one side and had all my weight on my left side and almost no weight on my left foot. And what, or my right foot, my right foot had no weight and my entire left side had that. And whether I had my heel up a little bit or had my foot flat, all my weight was on my left side until my trombone professor pointed it out because it was throwing some things off. My left elbow, if you look, is not in the same position as my right elbow as I go to play and it was constricting this side of my lungs. So again, this is all connected, and when you stand there with good posture, make sure elbows are away from the body and you're holding the instrument up properly, not letting it sit on you, and you're not slouching. You really want even distributed weight and make sure that, I think of a triangle with my head as the top in, uh, point and my feet as the two bottom points, and that's where I play and have that. I take in my good air. <laughs> get out that good sound as I have good postures there. Now I only have my trombone to demonstrate. Make sure your hand position is correct. For trombone players, two on top, two on bottom and thumb. For the other instruments, the biggest thing I keep seeing is we aren't using curved fingers. If I'm a woodwind player, I need to have these curved fingers. If I'm moving flat fingers like this, then I'm moving the wrong muscles. If I'm using these fingers, I'm, or if my fingers are curved, they're going to move faster, more uh, speed in between there, and it's going to be a better situation. Trumpet players, same exact thing. If it's one of my percussionists, again, high schoolers, there should be materials for Mr. Lang there. I might share those with the middle school kids. Maybe not. We'll see. Anyways, make sure stick placement is where it needs to be. Make sure that you have that thumb underneath. Make sure you have proper grip. Double check your posture as you're playing. This is the perfect time to go back and work on those fundamentals to make sure you're approaching playing in the best way possible. And again, be well, do good work, and keep in touch.